In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the tires on a bicycle. So this is the bike that I use for riding back and forth to work every day. Um, so it does get a fair bit of distance on it quite regularly. And if we take a look at the back tire back here, um, you can see that there's been a fair bit of wear um, to the tire surface here. Um, there's still a little bit of tread left, um, but you can definitely tell that it's worn down, down a fair bit um, compared to our front wheel up here, um, where there's still quite a bit of tread still on this one here. Um, and that's because um, on, a, on a bike, typically the back wheel um, wears at a much faster rate than the front wheel uh, because your back wheel is the one that's propelled um, by your pedals so there's always more friction on the back wheel. Um, so today what I'd like to do is I'd like to put this tire on the front and move the front one to the back so that I'll be able to get an even amount of wear out of both of my tires. So first we'll begin by removing both of the wheels and of course that job is done easiest when the bike is flipped upside down like it is right now. So now to take the tire off, you got to find the part of the wheel that has the valve stem on it, this part right here. And uh, this wheel has what's called the Schrader valve on it. Uh, so there's this little cap that comes off and it reveals the actual valve itself. And Schrader is also the style of valve um, that car tires have on them as well. So to release the air from a Schrader valve, all you got to do is you just have to find something which you can press on that little dot which is on the inside of the circle there. Um, so I'm just going to use a regular Phillips screwdriver to do that. So just line it up with that middle piece and just push in. Now you can hear the air coming out. And just release all of the air from inside of the inner tube. Just hold it there until you stop hearing air coming out. Some bikes have a different style of valve like this one here which is called a Presta valve and they're really not any more challenging to operate. All you've got to do is just start by taking that plastic cap off and the only difference is um, inside here there's a little nut which you have to loosen off so this tur just turn this little piece here at the end and that comes out and then to release the airlock all you've got to do is just push that nut inwards and that breaks the seal and allows air to come out. So now with the air released from there, you can see the tire is really soft and loose. And if we peek inside there, um, we can see that around the edge here, there's a bead which runs the full length around the tire. Um, what you've got to be able to do if you want to take this tire off is you've got to be able to pick that bead up and lift it over the edge of the rim here. Um, so that bead will then be running on the outside uh, where my finger is here. On some bikes this is really easy to do, um, particularly on mountain bikes it's generally pretty easy. As I said you could probably be just be able to do it just with your finger just by lifting this up and over. Um, but on other bikes it can be quite a bit more challenging and you'll have to use um, some of this tool here uh, which are called tire irons. So I prepared a cross-sectional diagram of what it looks like inside of a tire. Um, so imagine that we were to take this wheel here and cut it right through this surface here and then we were to look inside there. That's what you'd see. So this orange piece here is the rim which is the outer metallic loop of your wheel and on the inside here you can see that these little ridges which protrude inwards and those little ridges they're there so that they can interlock with the beads of the tire so this outer green part here is the actual tire itself um, so earlier in the video when we were pushing on the inside of the rim we were looking down and we could actually see that bead there so those two surfaces lock together and they do that um, by having this uh, blue piece which is on the inside uh, which is what's called the inner tube um, so it's really just a very thin layer of rubber and on the inside of there it gets pressurized with air so this lighter blue color here um, is just air um, so what happens is you know this gets pressurized and the tube or the the inner tube expands in all directions and it, you know it pushes pressure in this direction it also pushes pressure here and keeps those surfaces so that they're interlocked together. So to be able to take this tire off of the rim what you've first got to do is you've got to be able to lift this e outer edge over there and then after you've done that you've got to be able to shift this whole thing over and then you've got to lift this edge again over this side so you'll be able to take the full tire all the way off of the rim. However the one thing you've got to be really careful of when you're taking the tire off is that you don't do any damage to your inner tube because as I explained the inner tube is really just a very thin layer of rubber. Uh, so if you're sticking some kind of a tool inside of there to be able to get uh, more leverage for taking the bead off you got to make sure that your tool doesn't come in contact 
um, with the inner tube or that the tool doesn't pinch your inner tube um, because if you do anything to weaken you know the edges of the inner tube there um, there's a good chance that after you fill it with air pressure again um, that the tube is going to fail and that you're going to get a flat tire as a result. So as I mentioned some tires are easier to take off than others and from my experience this particular tire I'd say it's about a medium amount of difficulty so it's a pretty good example to use for this tutorial. Um, for a really easy one, uh, you'd just be able to grab onto the top of the tire here and just pull up and you'd be able to just, you know, lift this bead inside here right over without using any kind of a tool to do it. Um, but this one's just, just too challenging when I pull up on it, I just can't get enough height to get it up and over. So for this, what I have to use are these things, which are called tire irons. And these ones are made out of plastic. They make them out of metal as well. Um, I prefer the plastic ones because um, there's less chance of these doing damage to your inner tube, uh, just because they're, they're, they're not gonna be sharp. They're just made out of plastic. Uh, but the disadvantage of these is that if you're, you're, you're working on a tire that's really hard to get off, um, it's possible that they can break off when you're doing it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to stick this inside here and you want to just put it so it's right underneath the bead and you want to make sure that there's not an inner tube that's getting pinched between um, the, the bottom of the, the tire lever and uh, the bead. So just like that and then we just pull it down and uh, there's this little hook piece here which actually hooks right onto one of the spokes like that. So as you can see there's this one little section of the tire uh, where we have the bead so it's on the outside. So these usually come in sets of three. So we'll take a second one and we'll go um, over to the next, uh, the two spokes over to this one here and we'll put this inside there and repeat the process again, being careful that we're not pinching the inner tube inside there and we pull it up and over. So now we have this whole section here which has been pulled out. Then we'll move over another two spokes again and do the same thing again. Just like that and that time uh, what happened was when I pulled it out the middle one fell out and I accidentally let go of that one um, but right now we've got a big section of it out already which means I can probably just put my fingers under there and then just run them around the edge and pull the rest of the bead off the whole way around. So with the wheel flipped around you can now see that I've got the tire halfway off so I still have the second bead uh, which is inside of there so to get that one off it's actually quite easy in most cases you'll be able to pull up and just be able to lift it over without using the tire levers for this side so I've already got it off there and now the two pieces are separate. So this is the new tire that we're going to install which actually came from the back wheel of my bike um, so the inner tube comes out from in here and that's what that looks like it's just this big loop which is just as I said a very thin um, layer of rubber and then that goes inside here it just gets dropped right into the tire like so. So now the tire goes back onto the rim the way that it came off. One thing you have to be aware of is that most tire treads usually have a designed direction of travel so you want to make sure that when you put the tire back on the rim um, that you're going to have the treads that they're facing in the right way. An easy way to make sure you have them right is to look on the side wall. There's usually an arrow which indicates what the correct direction of travel is. So make sure that you install your tire so that once the rim goes back on the bike that the treads are going to be facing in the right direction. So start by lining up your valve stem with the hole that's in the rim and push the valve stem through. Make sure you pull it all the way through and then we'll start with this leading edge here and we should be able to just press it in with our fingers um, but for some, some wheels it is more challenging so you might have to use your tire irons to get it in there. So I've now got one whole side so that it's in there then we go over to the other side and we just work our way around and push that bead in. The beginning of it's always easy but the end here might get a fair bit tighter. So right there is really, really tight. Oh, but I was able to get it in by hand. Um, in some cases, you might have to use your tire iron just to shoehorn it in. Uh, basically, just use the tool um, in the opposite direction that we used it um, for prying it out. 
So before we put air back in this tire, we want to make sure that the inner tube is correctly seated inside there, you know, so there's no parts where it's folded um, or it's bunched up or anything like that. Uh, so it's a good idea just to kind of feel around and make sure that it, you know, kind of feels uniform the whole way around. Um, in most cases, it should be in a pretty good spot already. Um, then you find your valve stem and make sure you pull it all the way out like that. And then you get your air pump and you put it onto your valve and pump it up with air. And if you're not sure how much air pressure to put in there, um, again, on the outside of the, uh, the side walls of the tire, um, it usually will say uh, what the maximum and the minimum amount of pressure that the wheel is designed for. Um, so this particular one um, says it's a minimum of 50 PSI and a maximum of 85 PSI. As you're pumping, you want to stop every so often and look around the tire and make sure there's no areas um, that are bulging or where you know something isn't seated correctly. Maybe the bead isn't correctly tucked into the right spot. Uh, just basically make sure that when you look around, um, it, it looks uniform the whole way around the wheel. And after you're finished pumping, your plastic cap goes back onto the valve stem. So this concludes my tutorial showing how to change a tire on a bicycle. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.